Oh man, a new game about dinosaurs? Awesome! Hopefully it will contain more updated and more accurate dinosaurs and not just those scaly, horribly inaccurate Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Hello there guys, once again, I have another prehistoric video for you guys. But this time, we are not doing a Paleo Profile. Those will be continued soon. Today, I am starting a new series called Paleo Shorts. On this show, I will answer questions about prehistoric creatures submitted by you guys. Such as, what noise did T-Rex make? Did Pachycephalosaurs really bash heads? And what color were dinosaurs? And other questions of that nature. Today I want to start out by answering one of the questions based on pop culture not too many people would like to be answered. What did feathers look on raptors, or otherwise known as the dromaeosaurids, or dromaeosaurs? The dromaeosaurs are a group of theropod dinosaurs that includes Deinonychus, Utahraptor, and everybody's favorite Velociraptor. And it has become more or less common knowledge that this group of dinosaurs certainly possessed feathers. And yes, they did possess feathers, in contrast to what some people on the internet may tell you. Now the precise type of feathers and how they covered the body of the dinosaurs has been greatly debated not just in pop culture but in paleontology over the years. But with more and more feathered fossil discoveries coming out of China these days, one of which was discovered last week, we can now accurately depict feathers on dromaeosaurs. Today, we will be focusing on the ground-dwelling dromaeosaur, Velociraptor. And please keep in mind these dinosaurs are animals, not movie monsters. As a basis to our depiction of feathers on dromaeosaurids, I will use and cite direct fossil evidences from multiple dromaeosaurid fossils, such as the famous fossil of Microraptor and Cynorthinosaurus, two tree-dwelling dromaeosaurids, the quill knobs on Ranoavis and Velociraptor, and the most recent and most interesting fossil of Jin Hanawalong, the first of the relatively large ground-dwelling dromaeosaurs to have direct evidences of feathers. Alright, so let's start. Here is our naked dromaeosaur, in this case, Velociraptor a dog-sized dromaeosaur. So, first off, based on Jin Hanawalong, Microraptor, Cynorthinosaurus, and the quill knobs of Velociraptor, we know for sure Velociraptors and all other dromaeosaurs possessed wings. These wings were made of pinaceous feathers, long aerodynamic feathers that may have helped the dinosaur in varying ways. Because these feathers are aerodynamic, they definitely were used in some purpose related to moving at high speeds and not dragging the animal down. In tree-dwelling dromaeosaurs, most likely they were used for gliding and non-powered flight, such as in Cynorthinosaurus and Microraptor, which possessed pinaceous feathers on their forelimbs and its hind limbs, something ground-dwelling dromaeosaurs most likely lacked. The feathers in these types of dromaeosaurs were definitely used in flight. In contrast, scientists have theorized that in ground-dwelling dromaeosaurs, these pinaceous feathers may have been used in something called wing-assisted incline running. Wing-assisted incline running, abbreviated as WHERE, is a running behavior observed in living birds. WHERE allows birds to run up steep or vertical inclines by flapping their wings, scaling greater inclines than possible through running alone. Scientists believe that some ground-dwelling theropod dinosaurs, such as Velociraptor, may have used its wings to aid in climbing. Scientists also think wings help the dinosaurs steer while running, something exhibited in modern ostriches. Another use for these wings may have been used in mating dances, like modern pheasants and storks. All these behaviors, beside the gliding capabilities of Microraptor and Cynorthinosaurus, are only speculative and have zero evidence of their existence. All you need to know is that Velociraptors and all other dromaeosaurs definitely possessed aerodynamic, pinaceous wing feathers, definitely used for some fast-paced purpose. If that were to be wing-assisted incline running, steering while running, or maybe even simply in mating dances, we don't know. These wing feathers would leave the claws of the creature exposed, allowing some degree of wrist flexibility. Here's a diagram illustrating the grasping ability of a raptor with long hand feathers. Now, from these wing feathers, we move on to the tail fan of feathers. The tail feathers or rectices of dromaeosaurs were a lot like modern birds. These tail feathers, like the wing feathers, were pinaceous, allowing the creature to have a more streamlined shape further adapting the dromaeosaurs to their fast-paced lifestyle. These quite beautiful looking tail feathers have been exhibited in all dromaeosaur fossils that preserve feathers, from Microraptor, Cynorthinosaurus, and most recently in Jin Huan Long. Due to their presence in these dromaeosaurs, these tail feathers were certainly exhibited in all dromaeosaurs, including Velociraptor. Like the wings, they were most likely used to make the animal more aerodynamic and probably help steer the creature while running. 
the tail feathers in Velociraptor were most likely similar to the tail feathers in Jin Huan Long. The tail feathers in Jin Huan Long were very long and unlike the tail feathers exhibited in Microraptor, starting at the base of the tail and not the end. Due to its relation in size to Velociraptor, Velociraptor probably possessed similar tail feathers. Now the rest of the body of Dromaeosaurs were covered in short, down-like feathers. These feathers covered the body extremely similar to that of modern day birds, covering almost all the body, snout to tail, only stopping at the feet and ankles, and for lack of a better word, the lips of the creature, where scoots or avian scales existed. These downy feathers help insulate the dinosaur as well as further make them more aerodynamic. This caused dromaeosaurs to look very bird-like, especially like modern raptors like hawks almost making their toothed mouths look like beaks. Some depictions of dromaeosaurs have depicted raptors with naked, almost vulture-like heads. We know this is not the case. The feather orientation on dromaeosaurs was a lot more like modern raptors, such as hawks and eagles. In Microraptor, Cynorthinosaurus, and Jin Huan Long, we know the feathers covered the whole head and snout like a bird, going around the eyes and only stopping at the lips of the creature. Panacea's feathers would start at the back of the head. Due to all discovered dromaeosaurs possessing this head covering of feathers, it is highly likely that all dromaeosaurs were like this as well, making those naked vulture heads inaccurate. In other depictions, you may see a mohawk like crest on dromaeosaurs. We know this now to be false. This was an incorrect conclusion based on the Microraptor fossil, where the panacea's feathers on the back of the head were flattened in such a way when the animal died, causing it to look like a crest. This flatter head was much more raptor-like and more aerodynamic. The corrected flatter head feathers is more like modern raptors and more aerodynamic. So all in all, here is what a dromaeosaur looked like with feathers. Feathers on dromaeosaurs such as Velociraptor make them look very bird-like, basically making them look like ground-dwelling hawks possessing teeth and a long tail. If you think it looks cool or lame, doesn't matter. Once again, science has no opinions. Velociraptor was an animal, not a scaly movie monster. A Velociraptor without feathers is not a Velociraptor. This same type of feather covering was almost certainly exhibited in all Dromaeosaurs, from Bambi Raptor to Utah Raptor. Okay, finally I've cleared up that confusion. This is what Velociraptor looked like. Panacea's feathers on the arms and tail, as well as the back of the head, and downy feathers almost covering the whole rest of the body, only stopping at the ankles and mouth region. So, let me look at some Velociraptor depictions and see what is accurate. Nope. 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 No. Closer. Yes. Alright, that was the first episode of Paleo Shorts. Thank you for watching, and please ask me your paleontology questions that you would like me to answer.